The following show is a paid program. What's going on today? I have two of the most powerful women in the United States. I'm telling you, when I tell you who they are, you're going to be excited. Evangelist Beverly Brodus Green. That's Snoop Dogg's mom. She's author of two books, 42 years as a church director, ordained evangelist. We also have Dr. Rhonda Travitt. They're going to be on together. She's an author, transformational cope. She is one of the top 100 most powerful and influential women of Georgia. Hello, ladies. How you doing? Hello. Hello. How are you? Man, I read that on today. We're doing our topic is living your best life now. And I said to myself, these two ladies would be perfect to tell about their life and how to do it now. Not next week, not next year, not three years from now, but right this moment. Evangelist Beverly Brodus Green. Everybody knows you as Snoop Dogg's mom. <laughs> well, some do, but I'm getting around so many times. Yes. That I am that woman of God. Yes, you are. You are. Mm -hmm. Most of all, yes. I am the child of the king. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. 42 yes. years as a church director. Yes. Oh, my God. It was so, it was like, I seen a musician. Health was going And he would sometimes direct the choir. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. So I asked him, could I do it? And he said, yes. Mm -hmm. And I started directing. I learned every key to everybody that he said that. In a solo, it or whatever they asked me. When my musician didn't show up, I knew I'd go over and ask somebody, "Can you put us in the flat? I'm gonna do this with these fingers. I want you to take the B flat." Yeah. And I just loved it. Oh wow! I loved it. And for being there in solo, God said, "Now it's time to move on." Mm -hmm. I didn't know He was gonna call me to be an evangelist. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so grateful. Absolutely. So grateful. Oh my God. Dr. Rhonda Travitt, I'm telling you, one of the top 100 most powerful and influential women in Georgia. I read that and I said, my God. <laughs> I bless God for the opportunity. I, when I was nominated for that, I was mm -hmm. amazed and mm -hmm. just really honored. Um, mm -hmm. 19 and 2019 twice right so it's been good he is blessed he's yes. given that opportunity yes. and i really thank him for it um and it's afforded me the opportunity to help help so many other people and i think that is what um we need more servants hard not yes. superstars yes. but just that we can help one another and reach back and help one another and that's that's one of my greatest joys Oh, I love it. Let's do a shout out to Cynthia Allen. She has put both of you all together. She said Evangelist Green is her big sister. And of course, yeah. Dr. Rhonda is her little sister. So shout out all to right. Cynthia Allen. Love her to death. She put this together for me and thank God for her. Dr. Rhonda yeah. wanted to jump right in and say transformational coach. What does that really mean? What is that? Diff what is the difference with that in life okay. coaching? Okay. Life coaching is very broad and you can coach in any area. Transformational and personal development means that I want to um, help to transform your mind, that mental state to get you mm -hmm. to that next level, your personal development. It starts from the inside, not the outside. Mm -hmm. Life coaching 
listens to a lot of your problems and kind of guides you. But in transformation, we want to transform the whole person. The Bible says be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah. Many dreams don't come to pass because our minds haven't been renewed. We haven't thought about where we want to go. And all we need is just somebody to believe and somebody to sound off of. And I can't make you transform, but I can encourage you to whatever your dream is, to get on that direction and we can push and I'll be your accountability partner and that personal development. But means I'm gonna hold you accountable because I'm, I'm really no nonsense when it comes down to time and your destiny because people really wanna reach their destiny. But often people are so laid back with them and they want accountability. People pay for accountability. Mm to be in their corner and to believe in them. I love yeah. that. Evangelist Green, let's jump right in. You are an author of two books, Real Love and Real Love Too. Let's yes. speak about those books. And those are your, that's your life story. Is that right? Yes. Um, I was talking to my youngest son one day and I was telling him the things that I remember from kindergarten all the way to the sixth grade. I knew every one of my teachers, first name, last name. And he said, mom, being that smart, he said, why don't you write a book? I said, about what? He said, about you. Mm. And I, my fiance said the same thing. I said, okay, I wrote the book. It's like at the end of my book, my husband and I, we did get married. We became one. We became where I thought that God would just let him live forever. So anyway, we got married and we lived happily ever after. We have to jump to part two. What happened with that? My husband died. And um, we enjoyed four years together. And so I started talking about my siblings. Before I finished that, my baby sister died. I went through so much pain and heartaches of losing my husband and my sister. But then after I finished the book and my mama got a copy of it, she died. And she told me, she said, uh, some things I like about it and some things I don't. I said, well, okay then, my dear. So after my mom passed and went on, I was able to finish the book 100%. Mm. And I'm so grateful because God was dealing with me in a most, oh my God, you just couldn't imagine what God was doing. Mm. He was bringing me and my sons closer to each other because by me being the mother and the father, I had to do it all. Mm -hmm. But one thing about it, if you learn to trust God mm -hmm. and lean on him, mm -hmm. God will bring your children back to you. Mm -hmm. I pray for them constantly because I want my children to be saved. Mm -hmm. I want them to go where I'm going. Mm -hmm. And my book is all about my life. Mm -hmm. It's all about my ups. It's all about my romance. It's all about anything that you can think of. It's it's about it. Mm -hmm. I didn't sugarcoat nothing. I told it just like it was. Right. I was married four times. Only one was good, and that was that last one, mm -hmm. the fourth husband. Right. And I loved him. I mm -hmm. still love him. Mm -hmm. It's been 14 years, and I still got my heart right there where he's at. Wow. So I thank God. Sometimes I get a little sad. Yeah. But by me being, see, God called me as an evangelist. Yes. When I received my calling, my bishop from North Carolina said, Evangelist, God wants you to be a national evangelist. Wow. I said, Oh, okay. <laughs> they flew out to California and did the ceremony at my church. Mm -hmm. My pastor supported me. I had two bishops there. I had my cousin, a minister, her father, which is my cousin also, 
I mean, I had a whole bunch of them, mm. and they supported me 100%. And let me tell you something. When I received that call, I told God, I said, I don't know the Bible. He said, let me tell you something. I didn't call the qualified. Mm. He said, I qualified the call. And from that point on, I've been running for Jesus ever mm. since. I'm not going to let nobody stop me yes. from serving the true and living God. Mm. And he's been mighty good to me. Yes. I pray for his grace. I reach for his glory. I honor his word. And I glorify his name. To God be the glory. To yes. God be the glory. Yes. To God be the glory for the things that he has he's done for us. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Don't get me to talk you gonna have you have me running up and down in the studio. I'm telling you, Doctor R- Doctor Rhonda. I'm telling you, Doctor Rhonda, jump right in here and let's talk real quick. You have a book on rejection and rebellion, the Twin Towers. Yes, my book is. It ended up being a self help book. Yeah. Um, rejection and rebellion is about is exactly about what the title of it is. Yeah. Rejection and rebellion. We think we get to a certain status in life and that a person no longer deals with that because of money or because of status or education. It's so not true. So um, pastors to uh, political figures, whatever, Mm. if you dealt with certain issues, then that rejection and rebellion will always show up and it sabotages your destiny and success. So when I was writing about it, I wrote about self, things that I had dealt with. I wrote about um, friends, family, no names, but just observations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I call it the Twin Towers because um, Twin Towers tower over you. You can only so far. It seems like your mind can't get past the rejection. And sometimes it's self-rejection. We'll make ourselves believe that um, somebody else is rejecting us and nobody's rejecting you. You reject yourself right. before you else can. Wow. So I wrote it. Um, it became a self-help book in universities all over. Um, I was amazed because, you know, when you tell your story and you're authentic to yourself mm-hmm. and, you heal, and sometimes you're writing to heal you yes. and heal, yes. you end up healing other people. I think your truth yes. on a Energetically. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what people think about you. It's authentically you. And it will heal other people when you are authentic, unapologetically. Mm-hmm. As though if you're dealing with something, people want you to apologize, mm-hmm. no to confront, and then overcome. That's how I transform. And that's how we trans- transform. You can never transform and uh, deal with rejection or rebellion unless you confront the very things that we don't want to confront. Right. Or, or the right. degree covers it up. We have that Adam and Eve syndrome. We got that leaf thing going. <laughs> but if it um, really has us to deal with it, then, you know, it's naked and not a shame. Wow. Wow. Ladies, I'm telling you, okay, I'm telling you, the two of you all together, you, you look, if they, if nobody learns anything, you better live your best life now. (laughs) I love that unapologetically living it. You know what I mean? You don't have to apologize or explain to anybody what you do. It's your life. It goes alone. Ooh. You don't know our story. Mm. You look and you see this product mm-hmm. where we are, yeah. but you don't know yeah. how we got it. Oh. You don't know the oh. you don't know the, the, the suicidal days, Ooh. the homeless, the depression, the depression, so everything that came with that. So how do you allow people to take your power Ooh. because they were there during your pain? Ooh. Don't make me... <laughs> you know what, Doctor Rhonda? I'm about, you. Both of y'all gonna make me run up and down the studio. <laughs> I mean, today, look at what has happened. People, we're in a world as of today. COVID has happened. Yes. COVID, it shut down yes. everything. 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 
And I always yeah. think, and I think I told you ladies, I always think, what would God be saying? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Because you couldn't uh -huh. hear me with everything going on. You couldn't hear me because you're driving and you're busy. You couldn't pray. You couldn't do anything during this time because you're so busy. So busy. <laughs> doing nothing. You're busy doing nothing. Doing nothing. Evangelist Green, let's jump right in here and talk to you about battered women. Battered women, your passion. Why so? Yes. Um, I've been places where uh, I was invited yeah. uh, to be a speaker yeah. uh, about domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Now, my first husband, he taught me what I know. Ooh. You hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Mm. You pull the gun, and be glad. I pull my hands through. Ooh. And by me being married to him, he learned me how to fight. You know, a man hit you, slap him back, take your fist, and do that. <laughs> and I've talked to so many women, and they're in so much tears that how did I get to where I'm at? Right. I said, because I put God first. Yes. I said, Lord, if it's not right in my life, yes. being who I say I am, yes. I want you to clean it. Uh, yes. I said, now, women, let me tell you something. You're beautiful. Yes. You don't need nobody to put their hands on you. Yes. You've been bruised. Uh, they've told out your integrity. They've did everything to you. Yes. You have no desire to be with no one. I said, let's stop that today. Mm. First of all, take it to God. And once you take it to Him and you're sincere, God will work it out for you. Mm. And whenever I go anywhere and they see me, they like to hear that story. Yeah. That he hit me, I hit him. <laughs> and that's the do. He, he got a gun, I get one. He got a knife, I got a knife. <laughs> and if that's the way I had to live my life, so be it. Mm -hmm. I'm still here. Yes. I still have my right mind. Yes. I thank God for saving me and sanctifying me. Yes. I love my life. Ooh. I wouldn't take nothing. They change me. But God has made me be. Wow. Amen. 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 Look at that. Yes. Dr. Rhonda, yes. you've seen it too and heard about domestic violence, I'm sure. When it comes up October, that will be the month, but it's daily and every minute, oh, especially yes. during COVID. During COVID. Absolutely. Um, statistically speaking, we see that um, the numbers have went up. Yes. And, and yeah. I think when we see domestic violence, they're just thinking about husband and right. wives. Spousal, but we have relatives that moved in with each other. Yes. And so forms of abuse yes. or friends that came together. Yes. And they move in because of economics. And uh, violence has erupted in yes. those relationships. Yes. So it's on the rise. It's it's really on the rise because temper temperament. Yes. Temperament. Mm -hmm. And that, that being healed and anger and not feeling feeling helpless and not in control. Mm -hmm. That is the formula for yes. violence. Yes. The helplessness, mm -hmm. the insecurity. I mean, that's what most violence is a lot of times when yes. you're dealing with women, there's some insecurity somewhere. Yes. And so the more insecure, the more hopeless they feel, the more you want to take it out on someone. And even with dealing with the youth, mm -hmm. I'm dealing with that are um, dealing with domestic violence, even in school. Mm -hmm. wow. well, young, the younger they are, I think they're very yes. angry, um, you know, before COVID. And so during COVID, mm -hmm. it's really, really bad. It's really bad. But you know, yes. I, I have I, I have a long online where they can come and mm -hmm. talk and message you and me and mm -hmm. we can online and I do free counseling because we need it. Yeah. Um, COVID not only affected yeah. me, but it affected mentally. Wow. And I think that's something we yeah. really need to talk about. Okay. Is the mental Sounds good. Let's take a break. We'll be right back with these two ladies. We'll be right back to The Cam Hill Show after these messages.
Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. For a limited time, get $16,000 off all in-stock Cadillac 2019 XT5 crossovers and $19,000 off all in-stock 2019 CT6 sedans. Or experience the first-ever 2020 Cadillac XT6 premium luxury collection, only $519 with $1 down for 39 months lease. Or purchase and receive 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com When it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service, striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com Have you been injured in an 18-wheeler accident, truck accident, car accident? Was someone texting and ran into the back of you, not paying attention? It doesn't matter what it is. Give me a call, Attorney Willie Powell. We'll fix it today. The number is 281-881-2457. Again, that number is 281 881-2457. We'll fix it today. Call attorney Willie Powell. And now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, thank you so much for coming back. We're with Dr. Rhonda Travitt. We're with Dr. Uh, Evangelist Green. We were just picking up. Dr. Rhonda, you were speaking and you were saying at the end, about just uh, domestic violence and how it's uh, as far as completely with everybody. It's not just domestic violence between men and women, it's domestic violence with different family members. Uh, Aunts, Uh, uncles that have moved in um, with one another. Right. Um, It it, it has escalated in every aspect. Uh, Yes. Yes, yes. Neighbors, Absolutely. I have a domestic violence. Absolutely. Sexual assault has gone up too. It's also in the, on a rise. They're not speaking of it, but it's on a rise as right. far as the numbers are concerned when people are having to go to the hospitals or doctors or so at this point. Mm. Yes, yes. That's the only way of oh. indication. But you have something called Game Changers. Let's talk about it. Okay. Um, Game Changers is a 501c3 nonprofit. We work with returning, I call them returning citizens, but people that are coming out of the system, um, males and females. And we also work with youth before Mm -hmm. they actually get all the way into the system. They have done some things, but Mm -hmm. they have went to prison yet. Um, we're working with them. Um, we work with them. I work with um, DA Homes and a couple of other organizations yes. um, huh. in Marietta, trying to help them get jobs and being able to vote, um, mm. get um, um, clothing presentable for them to mm. go to you, trying to get their lives back. And a couple of people, a couple of organizations, so that um, that that hire, right. you know. Uh, uh, people that have records because mm-hmm. it's difficult to come out and say change your life right. when I can't get I'm making right. more than dollars an hour. Exactly. So we set people in motion, but there are people that are really trying to help people to get their lives back. And mm-hmm. so that's what gangsters is. And we also help uh, mentorship. We also help them with resumes. Um, definitely mentorship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The development and transformation. Absolutely. I love it. Evangelist Green, we were just talking about domestic violence. You had talked about even yourself going through some part of it and also battered women. But I want the world to know that you have mentored and touched probably millions at this point of women uh, because she's gone yes. around the world globally. People don't know that she's gone globally around the world to touch women and to tell her real story about who she is and about the fact if she can do it, they can do it. Let's speak on that, uh, Evangelist Green. 
we spoke about the domestic violence and why you did that. And even spoke, you were very candid that you uh -huh. had been married four times and you found your, your uh, love yeah. at the fourth. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so don't give up, right? <laughs> that's, that's what you have to do. Well, it just made me stronger yeah. when I met them and they wanted to put their hands on me. Uh -huh. And I just always try to have something in my hand to defend me. <laughs> um, I'm not going to let them. Be. I can't. Yeah. I've seen friends. Yeah. I've seen family. Yeah. I'm so afraid to, yeah. to go back to this person. Be afraid yes. to even let him know that they're talking to him. Right. But I just give them to let them know, love, love yourself first. Right. When you love yourself, everything else will come after that. Right. A lot of times, they will take that love from you, where you think less of yourself. But I today to say, if you love yourself and you put God in your life, I guarantee you, you'll be a better person. Wow. You won't be afraid of him no more or her. Because you know, there's women fighting each other yeah. out there too. Mm -hmm. And then they put this out on our children. Children go to school. They fight. Mm -hmm. You know, go in the grocery store. Somebody in there fussing and arguing. So you hate Christ everywhere you go. And the only way you're going to do it, accept him as your personal Savior. Wow. And God will lead you, guide you in the right direction. And that's the hallelujah. <laughs> God bless. God bless. Hallelujah. I know. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I tell you something. Yeah. The first thing we do as family, I think, when we find out or we know that someone has been abused, what do yes. we say as a family? Is there, what do we do as a family? Some family, you know, black people, I mean, some of us, it's like, ah, uh, we're not talking about that outside of the house, or we're not going to do that That's outside. Right. It didn't happen. Uh, Maybe we're just going back home. No, it did happen. And yeah, it's happening. Right. It did happen. What is a family? What should a family member do? What should the person do if they've been told that or if they see it? Well, I feel that God will put pe people's places and uh, places for you where these folks can come and meet you. All they got to do is come to God. Do it by yourself and open your heart and your mind up. Tell God you are sick and tired of somebody beating you, disrespecting you, calling you out of your name. Father, I want to change in my life. Because when I got saved, I had been drinking that night before. I had been fist fighting with my baby daddy. But I told God, I said, you said somewhere in your word, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Mm. Now, in the door shall mm. Mm -hmm. God saved me. May 23rd, 1980. And I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Mm. I thank God yeah. for all I went through. I thank God that God is using me yes. today. My son do his thing, but I do mine. <laughs> and mine is about God. Yeah. I love him. I love him to death. Yes. But when it comes to God, that's my first love. Yes. And I'm sorry I do get so upset. No, that's okay. When I talk about how good God is. Very emotional. Yeah. I was that way when I was in the world. Oh. <laughs> I enjoy it. So why can't I enjoy it? That's true. Serving the true and living God? That's right. And Absolutely. I'm, Absolutely. I'm really happy that. You, you know go. somebody that's been abused. Yes. We all do. We all do. And most people don't have to admit yeah. that they've been abused. Yeah. And I know this is some of the good looking folks you ever seen. Yeah. And they come <laughs> out there looking good, smelling good. And you meet them. And you find out it's another side of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know. And they I know. Careful. So my thing is now, I don't look. I wait on God. Yeah. To send me. Mm. Mm -mm. My OS. <laughs> the the <laughs> king. Uh -huh. The queen. Yeah, Amen. for the queen. Amen. Amen. I love that. You wait on Boaz. I know that's right. <laughs> Don't. I am. I'm tired of being alone. I, hey, I know that. 14 years, a long time. 14 years, a long time, Evangelist. I'm telling you. Yeah. Dr. Rhonda, jump right in here. Transformational. <laughs> what should we do as, uh, or, or, or what should a family do or someone do? What can they do? Amen. 
one of the things that you don't do that is often done is um, say, what did you do mm. to him? Mm. What happened? You know, sometimes we like, what did they do? Uh, the person had to do something. Right. To, uh, to provoke. Uh, right. To provoke. Yes. yes. You, didn't, you don't have to do anything. Right. Because what happens, right. it, it does not give anyone the right mm. to lay hands on you right. so let's mm -hmm. is to listen and then um when a person is ready just because a person is being abused does mm -hmm. not mean they're ready right this is what i've learned yes uh, with a lot of that so because you're being abused does not mean you're ready to come out of it yes i want to talk yeah. about the abuse mm -hmm. and we have to be honest about that mm -hmm. Ready to talk about it. There comes a time because you keep believing that he's not going to hit you again. Or in these days, she's not going to hit you again. Right. They're going to change. They're, They're going to change. change. They're going to change. So you're gonna yes, they're going to change. You didn't mean it. So when right. you come to the end of that place, mm -hmm. then you mm -hmm. pay for assistance. Otherwise, you get into a situation and when they make up, it's your fault. Right. Right. The person that, you know, they came to to help, it's your fault. So you got to know and be that listening ear. Yes. And you'll hear uh -huh. when yeah. they've had enough. My mom used to say, when you get enough, no one has to tell you anything. That's it. That's right. Now, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get enough of it. You get enough you of it. I'm telling it. you. That's right. I think that's what's happening right, right, right now. I think a lot of people have had enough. We've had enough of COVID. Mm. I think we're making necessary mental changes. Um, I pray. Um, I think we're coming out better. We yeah. learned finally that your money, your money and status meant nothing because in COVID, in the pandemic, all on the That's same right. place. <laughs> yes, you're right. No poor. It was, mm. All of us was on the same playing field. Mm. So that's one thing COVID taught us. That is one thing yes. over taught us. Wow. Mm -hmm. Life could change any moment. And uh, uh, what, what, where are you and where were you? Right. I took inventory and I thought about my mortality um, more than I ever had. You think because you're not sick, you're not going through this and that, that you're going to be around forever. Absolutely. But so my whole, whole it changed. And now I'm living my best life for yeah. the remainder of my life. So I thank you for this. Yeah. yeah so much. Oh, because yeah. I'm going to live my best life unapologetically. Ooh, right now. Right this moment. Right now. Right now. That's right. I remember yeah. something not like too long ago. I remember something where a young man was speaking of his wife. And he was just talking about the fact she was, she was sick. She had now passed away. But there was a slip she had always saved for the occasion. She had always mm -hmm. saved this slip for the occasion of what it was going to happen. She never wore the slip. They placed the slip on her when she passed away. What I'm saying about that, you cannot wait for anything at this point. That's what COVID has taught me. You have to do yeah. everything now, right this uh -huh. moment. Tomorrow is not promised. Your next breath is not promised. Not An promised. hour is not promised. Not even seconds are promised right mm -hmm. now. You have to do it now. You have That's to do right. it not only now, not only for you, for your children uh -huh. and your children's right. children's yeah. children. Ooh, that's in the Bible that's right there. Generational. <laughs> he said for generational, right. you have to do it. Yes. Everything right. we need to do, we need to do it right, right now. now. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. So yeah, if so we're true. not happy in the relationship, it's not going to change. Mm -hmm. It's been 20 not years done. and it ain't going to change. It's That's been right. 20 days right. and still might not change. <laughs> That's so true. You live most of your life worried about people rejecting you. Ooh. So change that. They, and there you go. Yes. We're so worried about what people think about us. Yes. Ooh, yes. what they think. How they feel. How they, mm. Look, 
What do they care? Do they care about me? These are just mm. friends and family. What they talking about? They, yeah. I'm going to tell you something today. They going to talk. Mm. They going to feel the way they want to feel. They going to do whatever yeah. they want to do. And as long as you have a light on you, many of them cannot mm. take, look at the glare. That's the, what they're uh, compar- concerned about, the glare that's on you. Uh, the focus is uh, on you because they want to do what you're doing. They want to be who you right. are. They want to go yeah. where you're going. Because, see, God oh, yeah. is with each of us. We all have an opportunity. That's right. We all have that's an opportunity. Right. Yes. Dr. Rhonda, transformational coach. I'm telling you yeah. guys, you have to get with her because she will transform you. <laughs> right. You're going to be transformed. <laughs> What they say in the renewing of your mind. That's the right. Of your mind. That's where it wow. starts. That's where it starts. Yes. We got to start here mm-hmm. in That's the right. renewing of our mind. That's right. Thank you. We dress the outside up. Yeah. Now we need to fix the inside. Yes. Yes. We need yes. to do the foundational work inside. Yes. The That's things right. in our life that we never yes. address, be it in childhood. Yes. Um, yes. There are places. I found that we didn't address. Yes. College didn't address yeah. 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 Strongholds. We've got a lot of strongholds, generational yeah. strongholds that we have not uh-huh. broken from generation yeah. to generation to generation. That's First right. thing somebody will say, oh, well, I had a child at 13 or I, I got uh-huh. abused at 14 or don't worry uh-huh. about it. I went through that. But never one point to break that chain, to stop it. To stop it. So, and who are you going to let speak into your life? Ooh. You have to, qualify. Mm. People, you have to make people qualify. Mm. That's mm. not arrogant or boastful, but time we meet people, we say, oh, that's my friend. Yeah. Friend qualifies over a period of time. Ooh. Mm. Mm. That, that's and, and, and that's why people are so hurt yeah. because you've just, oh, we were just so kindred. No, there was something mm. familiar. And it might not have been the good familiar, right? Right. It's something right. that old familiar, yeah. That you connect right away, yeah. and eventually those familiars will will cause you to collide. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. make people qualify to be in your life. Yeah. Know you, know that know what you're carrying. Mm. Know um, get with people with like spirits mm-hmm. that are going places mm-hmm. that you want to. go. Mm-hmm. Negativity. You should not be in your play in mm-hmm. your company. Um, those that uh, always want to be a victim. If you want to be a victim, I am not your person. Right. I am not your person. Right. Right. Ready to be victorious mm-hmm. and let's come and challenge ourselves to 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 do greater things. Then I'm your person. I'm right. your cheerleader. Your coach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. I'm telling you, Amen. something about, I used to look at, the, listen to the guy said about the elevator. He said, as you go up, some people got to be left off. Not everybody's going to go all the way up with you. They're not going to go right. to the next level with you. Some people have to get off. They have to get off. And it That's could be right. family. You love your family, but maybe they can't That's go right. with their, you know, go with you where you're going That's on right. your journey. You can love them, but they might not be able to go. Yeah. And that's part of the transformation because yeah. we try to take everybody. We that's do. That's part of the transformation. We do. We try, we try to take everybody. Everybody right. we try to take. I mean, they could yeah. be part. To be honest, some people are supposed to be a line item in the book. We make them a whole chapter. I mean, <laughs> we make them a whole chapter. Let's do this. Right. We're going to take a real break and we'll be right back with the Cam Hill Show. <laughs> we'll be right back to the Cam Hill Show after these messages. When it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. 
Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com have you been injured in an 18-wheeler accident, truck accident, car accident? Was someone texting and ran into the back of you, not paying attention? It doesn't matter what it is. Give me a call, Attorney Willie Powell. We'll fix it today. The number is 281-881-2457. Again, that number is 281 281- 881-2457. We'll fix it today. Call attorney Willie Powell. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. For a limited time, get $16,000 off all in-stock Cadillac 2019 XT5 crossovers and $19,000 off all in-stock 2019 CT6 sedans. Or experience the first ever 2020 Cadillac XT6 premium luxury collection. Only $519 with $1 down for 39 months lease. Or purchase and receive 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com and now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, we are back. We are talking to Evangelist Green and Dr. Rhonda Travis. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Let's pick up where we left off. This will be, let's talk about uh, the transformational part of it, Dr. Rhonda, real quick. Uh, what other, what things do you provide, people are asking? I just looked at some uh, questions. What do we provide? I provide mentorship. I yes. provide clothing. We also provide um, um, clothing for the yes. guys. Um, uh, GED, right. helping with the resume, mm-hmm. helping with job placement, um, helping those that are not in the system but just want to be trans- transform- transformed and reach some goals that they never have. Yes. They just one-on-one mentorship. I have a group that's on Facebook that's called Transformation of a Nation Group. Mm-hmm. I go in, I coach, mm-hmm. and it's absolutely free. Um, people reach their goals and their dreams. People went back to law school. Wow. I'm just really to see people um, fulfill destiny, and that's what transformation is. You don't have to stay the same. Right. And I think I'm going through a transformation even with the protest. Oh, so yeah. I think we're changing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Evangelist Green, uh, in, in uh, uh, going all over the world, my God, helping everybody. Now that COVID has happened very quickly, let's speak to some people that maybe, you know, can't get out now. They can't get out, but they're in the situation. And I know we had right. talked about, yeah, prayer. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. well, and our church is on uh, Facebook. Yes. Um, you know, bringing the service and everything. Yes. And uh, there are many other churches that I noticed that are doing this. Mm-hmm. I went to North Carolina last weekend and I preached to people that are sitting in their cars wow. because they didn't have a microphone and uh, it was, you know, they didn't want to take the chances. But if I tell you, God gave me a word for them. He says, uh, let go and let God Mm. close the door to your past hurts. Mm. And I tell you, it touches a lot of people's hearts and their minds because we got to let the past go. Yes. So as far as if I know anyone that wants me there, I will go. I'll yes. go. I'll pray with them. I'll encourage them. Or we do it from the phone. Mm. They need prayer. Mm-hmm. Because we all can take some prayer in yes. now. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh I don't mind. I don't mind sharing. Yes. I, I have a heart that would give my last if I could. Yes. And uh, I'm just glad to be there. But let me tell you this. Mm-hmm. Uh, before my husband died, you know, he wasn't saved. Mm. And he was uh, drinking. He said, I'm going to have me some gin and juice. Like your son. I said, well, have your gin and juice. <laughs> but you know what? I kept praying for him. Yeah. I kept praying over my anointed oil. 
I put it in his bed where he slept. I put it in his house shoes. He said, honey, something oily in my shoe. What is that? I said, that, that's the anointed oil <laughs> to lead you and guide you. So you, you know you're going in the right way. So uh, I'd say about two weeks after that, we had our reunion family. And he told me he was going to drink everything. They got to drink that night because tomorrow he wasn't going to drink no more. And do you know he did that? He never touched another drink. He came down to church, prayed for him, clapped for him, said, honey, what they clapping for me? I said, because I prayed for you. I said, they prayed for you. I said, we thank God that he finally got that big thick head <laughs> where you want to receive him. Mm. And that next time he says, honey, uh, you didn't sing my song this Sunday. I said, well, I'll do it next time. Next time was too late. Oh. He went to L.A. to visit his friends. He said, the best friends he ever had. And he came home and, you know, it was something going on. And I know he said something. I told him I had a dream about someone that passed away. I thought it was my mom. Right. And he said, oh, that's a man. I said, really? So we were sitting on the steps my son and my husband and I. And he said, you know what? If I die, I want to close my eyes and go to sleep. Do you all know that next day, that's what happened. He went home. Wow. Massive heart attack, but he laid on the floor hmm. and got that. I said, Lord, why didn't he come? He had no time to come. Wow. That was his right then and there. Mm, mm, mm. He was gone that next day. Mm. And no, I say like that you wake up in the morning. But that don't mean you're going to last through the day. Right. There are people who didn't sleep last night. Never woke up. Never woke up. So we should be just grateful. Thankful. Yeah. And I was thankful because my husband started saying things about God before he passed. Wow. And I just, I think about it. I said, that man is in heaven rejoicing. <laughs> yeah. I he love it. He wanted to be with his wife. I love <laughs> <laughs> but his wife wasn't born right then. <laughs> oh. uh, he's got a lot of work for me to do. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yes. Dr. Rhonda, jump right in here. Where can people get Rejection and Rebellion, the Twin Towers? Um, You can actually go to my website, Rejection and Rebellion, yeah. Twin Towers. You can get it in Amazon and wherever books are sold. Yes. You can get Rejection and Rebellion, the Twin Towers. You have a beautiful show. I love it. I'm a fan of it. Where can people see it? Oh, okay. Apple, Spotify. Yes. Um, I look live as well. Mm -hmm. um, you, um, it's Transformation of a Nation podcast. Yes. I love to interview people that are um, transforming yeah. the world. Mm -hmm. um, I've had Yes, uh, Dr. Stella um, yes. Emanuel here in um, Houston. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, Saving R. Kelly, Miss Tamara Simmons, so many um, that are changing. D. Herbs, the owner of D. Herbs, just um, people that are changing and transforming lives. I just don't want to hear another celebrity talking about their celebrity status. We need transformation of our minds and in our hearts yes. and to help people to um, get their health get their minds, and uh, give hope. Yes. So that's transformation. I see why you're the top yeah. one, of the top 100. You got it. <laughs> Lady, you. you have it out of Georgia. I'm telling you, and I love the location. I love the area there. Ladies, what would you like, starting with Evangelist Green, what would you like to leave with the viewers? What would you like to say to them? I would like to say that we all need to come to our senses. We need to hear what God is saying. And, and, and the people that say they should really be thinking about this because it's trying to separate us from who God is. Mm. We can't even go in the church mm. to praise the man that keeps us going mm. every day, every night, all through the day. He's watching over us. And they said it now. They won't get it. It's time out for pleasure. It's time time to be rich. It's time to give your life completely to God. 
All I can tell you, get on them big knees mm -hmm. and pray. Mm -hmm. And pray for those that don't know how important it is for them to vote. Mm -hmm. Very important. It's one person can make a difference. Yes. I told my son that last night. And he like, yeah, I got a son 20 years old. Go get him register. Y'all need to go. Because they, they don't get no better. We okay. got to take a step. Yeah. And I love God mm -hmm. and love you all. Love, love you, you too. Love you, lady. Dr. Rhonda Travitt, uh, viewers, tell the view, what would you like to leave with them? Um, I totally agree with you, Evangelist Green, um, that it is time to take our lives more seriously. If you're confessing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then we should take that very seriously. In the meantime, help someone, reach and help someone, take time mentor because that's what he did he was a great teacher he spoke in parables but also um reach back and help somebody tell somebody show somebody and uh, be yourself give mm. yourself mission to succeed in whatever your dream is dream bigger um for the time that we have left dream bigger unapologetically um whatever that looks like to you um Go for it. Just reach high and know that it's nothing that is impossible, that all things are possible, and that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Stop apologizing to people. Stop apologizing. They weren't there. And then when they see you making the necessary changes, you will be a magnet that people are drawn to you because you dare to be different. We don't need another echo. We need a voice, and that's what I desire to be, a voice, and to hear voices that are saying um, something that is clear and concise in this season. So that's what I'd like to say. I love that. I love that. You two ladies, I'm telling you, I thank you, thank you, thank you for everything, for what you are doing, not only for your family, but for the world. Ladies, I'm yes, telling Lord. you, you too are global. You too have impacted so many. Continue on your yes, way. Continue pushing through and continue yes. as you have always done, showing the world how to live your best life yes. right now. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me. I thank you so thank much you for, for the, the opportunity. opportunity. Thank you for the All opportunity right. to have an interview and to sit and talk with you. I so appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a thank you so much. Take care. Okay. We will, this will end it. We will be back tomorrow. We'll see Joe Tex. Take care. Bye.